Hi, I'm Steve Feaster with Fitfluential, and I've put together a glute workout that can be done from the floor. Predominantly, glute workouts are done in weight bearing, but not today. We're going to start off with a warm up of 15 squats. So, if you will, follow me through. 15 squats, down and up. The things we want to remember from the squat, just to get the glutes lit up a little bit, is drive with the heels and through the hips. Keep your tummy in tight and chin is in neutral. Let's bang these out. Call that one six, seven, stomach tight, eight. Nine, make sure your back is straight. 10, getting all the way down. 11, 12, 13, push through your heels. 14, 15. Now I'm using a mat today just to give me a little more support. Laying down on my side, I want my left arm and my left leg to stay at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. You'll notice I have some yoga blocks out here at 3, 4, and 5 o'clock. That's gonna give me something to aim for. First position, I'm gonna go for five o'clock. Roll to your, your belly with your elbow down. Important to remember your heel is up. Squeeze from the glute, two, 15 times. Three, stomach in tight, four. Try to avoid rolling to your side, six, seven. Now you'll notice as you fatigue, the left leg wants to come in. Keep that leg at six, eight, nine, 10, I'm already feeling it in my glutes. 11, 12, touch that block or that mark every time, 15. Now, as I move to the five o'clock position, I can roll a little bit more onto my side. I move my foot to the next block. Again, my heel tries to stay to the ceiling because I want to use my glute, not my outer thigh. So now my elbow comes up a little bit and I lift. One, two, three, four, five. You can relax your head, six, Seven, is your arm still at 12 and that bottom foot still at six? Let's get five more. Oh, I'm feeling it in my glute now. Three, two, one. If you're doing it right, you're feeling it in this region. The next one, we're moving that leg to three o'clock to here, oh boy. Now your heel is not gonna be able to go up so we can leave our leg sideways and I'm moving more to my side but I'm not rolling back. Check your leg. Is this leg coming in? Keep it all the way back. Do your best to lift up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Tummy in tight, 12, 13. Now, if that's too hard for you, I just want you to repeat, repeat the four o'clock position. Now, the last exercise, we're moving into a cook hip lift. It's really important you bring this foot all the way in. The leg we're going to do, the glute we're going to do, you bring it in to where you can touch it with your hand. The other leg is going to come all the way into the chest. So my right hip, the one I've been working, I can touch it with my hand. I'm bringing this leg all the way in. That's going to keep me from using my low back. Now, I'm really going to have a short range of motion. It's just up and down. I'm pushing with my right heel up and down. Don't let this go this way. Don't let your leg go out. Keep it in tight. Relax your head and push. It'll be about eight reps in. You'll start to feel it in your glute. Push with your heel. Five more. Five, four. Taking your low back extenders out of it. Two, so we're only working the glute. Fantastic. These are great shaping exercises for the gluteals. They may not be as efficient in tightening the glutes the way squats and lunges are but they have their place for a finishing workout, something for sculpting. So there you go guys, a laying down gluteal workout right here. Stay tuned to Fit Fluential Moves. We've got more coming for you.